a child will follow the example of his father quicker than following his advice. When we were little, we desired to be like our parents. If someone asked us what we would like to be when we grew up, we looked to our dad. We looked up to our dads for providing for us, for protection, for help, for character, and for a living example of the virtues of temperance, charity, courage, and integrity. We expect that he will take care of us, that he will take our hand as we journey through life, sometimes pushing us, sometimes pulling us along, and sometimes carrying us. This is why it can be so difficult to raise a child without a father. It is certainly not impossible, but it's likely to be difficult. One of the great uh, models of fatherhood for all that is the foster father of Jesus, St. Joseph. St. Joseph loved and quietly cared for his family. He was obedient to God's will and demonstrated that faithful obedience in the way he led his family. The scriptures do not record one single word ever spoken by St. Joseph. He simply and faithfully fulfilled his responsibilities and obligations, and thus taught others by his good example. The most prominent good example he gave was the way in which he treated Mary when he found out she was with child. He knew very well that the child was not his. He didn't want to expose Mary to shame nor to the penalties in the law. The Gospel of Matthew says that St. Joseph was a righteous man, <clears throat> yet unwilling to, ex to expose her to shame, decided to divorce her quietly. Righteousness is associated with not exposing others to shame. As a dad, that is a very good virtue to have. This past Thursday, we heard in the Gospel how Jesus reminded us that in addition to our bi biological fathers, we also have a Father in heaven. He is the one that created us and showed us His unconditional love by sending us His only begotten Son to save us and to show us the way back to Him. Jesus also reminded us that if we want to have a relationship with our Heavenly Father, we shouldn't babble on, but rather repeat the simple prayer which we all know as the Our Father. This is a powerful way to communicate with Him on a regular basis. But especially before we have a difficult decision to make or a complicated situation to resolve. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for giving me a father. And I want to thank my dad for always listening to me, for his flexibility while forming me, for his understanding and for his support when I made my own decision, like going to the seminary or leaving the state of Colima to study industrial design in Monterrey in Mexico. I want to thank him for being fun, playful, and forming me through the quiet example and presence in my life. Thank you, Dad, for trusting me always. May the Lord reward you and keep you in his heart on this day and always. Happy Father's Day. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit.